Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush Designer and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about SketchUp AI rendering generation. So this is one of the newest plugins in rendering and called Arco AI and it's really useful in your projects. So uh, you can download this plugin from the uh, Arco AI slash SketchUp and when I refresh this site as you can see you can come downside and download it for the Windows or Mac users. So uh, you can see some type of images like that, as you can see, rendered by the AI in the uh, SketchUp, and it's really useful for you. I'm going to talk about one of the uh, realistic projects we done uh, with some of the uh, architectural house designs company called Pernion House in Iran, and. I want to show you some type of renders we've done it with Enscape 3.3 so as you can see this is rendered capture x5 and I done this renders I think two years ago with Enscape 3.3 in the maximum quality as you can see this type of villa but we don't know Enscape is realistic or AI is realistic actually artificial intelligence is really useful in this world today and you can use it in architectural projects so I want to open this folder open my 3d file with the SketchUp 2022 you can use other versions of it but Arco AI usually work for SketchUp with up version to the uh, 2020 so as you can see this is one of the projects that we done in the Iran country and it's related to the uh, some type of deserty villa and we have some type of dry weather in it actually as you can see this is the 3d model of it and this is the inscape asset and objects so uh we have different type of views like the bird view render capture or other type of things like that as you can see but we don't know is that ai can be prove our needs or not so uh I'm going to adjust some type of things like the material as you can see I'm going to select sample paint in here I want to choose my glass and change the color to the white and decrease the opacity of it and do this job for others and opacity is low the color is low as you can see something like that all right it's good our landscape has been done and we have some type of so far furnitures in this place we have rocky pool with the uh, splashing water so uh, we have some type of car in here and other type of things so I'm gonna click on this view as you can see only you need to right click on it and set the Arco in here as you can see this is the uh, Arco AI rendering generation reimagine the rendering process with the uh, click of your button that's Arco AI. So I'm gonna click on it, but before we start the best part of this tutorial, like and subscribe, don't forget it. Alright, as you can see, this is the layout, and in the free version, you can render 30 pictures for free, but after that, you must buy some premium account for it. Uh, I don't use it so much, and it's just for the tutorial, but in this case, I want to talk about some other type of things in here. So I can change my view to some type of complete view in this place, for example, something like that, or this one, or I can adjust some new view for it, something like this, as you can see. All right. And I want to click on the uh, look around in here and type 40 meter for the eye height. And I want two point perspective camera. And I want to update my render capture X1 in here. So uh, I'm going to click on the Arco AI in this place. I signed in at the uh, previous videos. And now I want to talk about that. So in this place, you can refresh your original view and link it to the uh, SketchUp environment. We have this clip line. You can add your description to the uh, AI artificial intelligent like the construction project interior design landscape or architecture or industrial design or the nature I'm gonna use architecture in here 
you can prompt importance for example if you increase it it will show that this project is have high level and high value for you difference from the original make your renders much realistic you can complete it to the 100 or take it to the 80 i just want to test it so i'm going to add it to the uh, for example 72 or 1 and words or sentences you can change your words for example nature or the modern uh, for example i'm going to type nature comma and i want to type realistic and now we have different type of ways in this place it shows you where your renders has been saved this is one of the arc oi renders that i done before but it's not realistic because i don't set any type of things like glass or prompt material in it i'm going to close it in this place so now i want to click on the uh, render option uh, the main and original picture of this render i think that one i took it with the enscape 3.3 but i don't know how ai will work in this place so i'm gonna click on the render option in here us i can open the full window of it in here as you can see i just can say ai is incredible you can see that all of the places actually about 90 percent of the project has been detected by the ai camera lens called arco ai in sketchup and it can be satisfying but it can be better absolutely so this is the uh, picture of the uh, AI render and this is the uh, main render of this project as you can see. So we have lots of differences and this is one of the hopes architectures can have. So uh, now we can conclude this thing from this video. Arco AI can't work like the human and I think my render have better results than the Arco AI, but Arco AI in this place is incredible because it detects your project very simple and easy and it generates this type of render for you. So I want to check this out for other type of lens cameras in the SketchUp environment. So I want to close the Arco AI in this place and for example, I want to select this part of the project something like that for example i just want to know that is this type of files can be detected by the arco ai or not so in this place i want to change my car this is the one of the off-road cars from the uh, enscape asset library but i don't know it now so i want to delete it and this motorcycle too in here i don't want these type of objects in this place but although i want to change my car in here for example i want to use for example this type of mercedes for my project so i drag it and click it in this place so now i add my new car in this scene in here and this is one of the mercedes high quality cars for the sketchup i just want to adjust it a little bit on the face for example maybe something about one centimeter is good or maybe two centimeter and now it's conformed to the landscape so uh it's a little bit high quality object and maybe sometimes my system has been lagged so i'm going to use arco ai again but before i want to use it uh, for example i want to open the displays in here and this is the uh, 
render from the entrance of the house I took it with the Enscape 3.3 and so uh, I think now it's good I just want to adjust my camera all right and add my height about 18.5 and press two point camera in here and another time I update my render captured number 10 but this time I want to add sun shading or the shadows on my job so I'm gonna open the shadow box in here and turn on the shadow uh, something like that will be happening here I just want to increase the dark to the 60 and the light is about 90 and use some for the shading and I want to click on the Arco AI so this screen will be a skip right now right so uh, now I want to render this another time but for example I want to switch it to the uh, landscape architecture change the importance to the 100 different from the original to the 100 and change the word or sentences to the uh, rainy and now I want to press This type of render has been created for us and it's really not good in here because I add some type of object in this place but it changed it completely. So another time I want to change the setting for example decrease the difference from original and prompt importance to the 42 and change the uh, disk line to the uh, architecture and this time I just want to add rain and now I want to press render so now you can see that Arco AI make this render much better than the past and it's completely done in here so I can open this in this place this is the main render of it in this side and we have another type of renders like this at the other side so as you can see Arco AI not bad in here but these type of asset or textures can be much realistic than the past so I really like this Arco AI and I think it's really good the future with the AI but this is the uh, tutorial about the uh, rendering with the AI so you learn how to use the Arco AI in SketchUp some type of useful plugin for you and how to manage it this is the one of the real projects that have been done in Iran by the uh, Pernion House architecture company and I just can say that this is one of the uh, Arco AI renders so for the final I will show you this picture in here I hope you enjoy this video, like and subscribe, don't forget it, please support us and goodbye.